if I have to use an uh, expression to describe my father, I think the word is xiao sa, kind of carefree, uh, above the mundane. He took great care not to get himself knotted up in insignificant matters. He would always just dwell on the big pictures. He's quite a thinker himself. Uh, he's quite philosophical in his outlook to life. He thinks deeply about many problems, of course about arts, uh, not just uh, visual art, but art in general. A good painting, including the classical painting in Europe or in China, the quality doesn't reside in the subject matter. It's inside, reside in the abstract quality of the paintings in terms of composition, the express expression, the line work, and the color, and so on. Just the same as any abstract painting. One day he was doing a painting, which is in my house now. It's a still life with apples and then a, big, a, a tropical flower and a picture frame with a with a, an unfinished painting of uh, a newt. And when I saw that, I was, I was just a high school kid, I was just stunned. I said, wow, you know, how can anyone paint something so powerful? It's just a few strokes, just like that, and you know, you see the thing. And of course, I love that painting, and I keep it in the house. But this is one side of him. On the other hand, uh, there was, there's a painting also in my house, just a little small one of a Malay man and a Malay woman, obviously kind of courting each other, sitting there, you know, very kind of tenderly towards each other with the tropical plants behind. So that one is very delicate, very sensitive, and it's opposite to the boldness that... So I, I love that because you can see, if you put the two paintings side by side, you see the breadth of span of, of his emotion, richness. It can be from one end to the other. If you ask me to remember what he looked like as an artist, I would say one image that strikes me very, very deeply. He would wear a short, a khaki color short, uh, barefooted, a white singlet, and would stand in front of a canvas with his hands like this, with about five or six brushes, and stand like that for sometimes an hour, an hour or two hours, looking at the blank canvas without starting a single stroke. And that actually symbolizes the man. That means before he started painting, he would have thought through the whole process. He would have thought through what he wanted to convey before he started. And I used to just sit <laughs> far away, just watching him, wondering what he's going to paint next. And that was like a, a guest game that I enjoyed, enjoyed having. Yeah.